Hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, it's me, the third boy. And here today's video, we will... Hi guys, it's me, the third boy. In our today's video, we will talk about the one-to-one -one function. Ito sing video na to, or itong topic na to, ay nakita ko sa mga requested video sa ating comment section. That's why uh, we will try to create a video tutorial for this kind of topic wherein ito rin ay kasama sa list of topics ng general mathematics. So, without further ado, let's do this topic. So, we have here the definition of one-to-one -one function. Yung one-to-one -one function natin is a kind of function. Okay? Pero hindi lahat, ng, hindi lahat ng function ay one to one Let's have the definition of one-to-one -one function. It is a function where one input gives one unique output. So, pag pinag-usapan natin yung word na input, it talks about your x values. Kapag naman pinag-usapan natin yung word na output, that is your y values. Ngayon, para mas maintindihan niyo yung konsepto ng one-to-one -one function, I have here a real-life example na pwede yung uh, mas lalong maintindihan yung mismo topic natin. So let's say for example, meron, meron isang company and meron tayong list of six employees and we have here their ID number. Again, in a company, meron tayong six employees Ito yung mga pangalala, Apostol, De Castro, Del Mundo, Gomez, hmm, Gonzaga. Parayo, no? Shoutout nga pala sa mga kaibigan ko, si Apostol, De Castro, Del Mundo, Gomez, and Parayo, no? And ito yung kanilang ID number. You have 001, 002, 003, 004, 005, and 006. So, bakit po natawag to na one-to-one -one function? Imagine na lang, guys. Kapag na-register yung name nila ng isang company, let's say for example si Apostol, na-register yung pangalan niya, yung kanyang ID number ay 001. Yung input natin dito, o yung X values natin ay yung employee, employee's name, tapos yung kanilang output ay yung ID number. Si Apostol, meron siyang ID number na 001. Kaya di Castro naman, ay 002 and for the mundo his ID number is 003 for Gomez that is 004 for Gonzaga 005 kay parayo naman ay 006 sir, um, bakit nga po talaga siya under ng one-to-one -one function imagine kapag pa sinerge natin kapag ni-reverse natin let's say for example ni-reverse natin yung process Let's say for example, hinanap natin kung sino ba yung employee na merong 001, kailan na siya mapupunta? Siya yung mapupunta kay Apostol. So one of the indications na ito ay one-to-one, -one, una, kapag ito ay isang function. Again, ha, hindi mo matawag na one-to-one -one function if the given is not a function. Okay? Pangalawa, if yung ating input, it produces a unique output. Pangatlo naman, kapag yung output natin ay kaya mag-produce ng unique input, yun na mismo yung one-to-one -one function. So dito, kapag sinerge natin, na-reverse natin yung process, ang gagamitin natin na panghanap ay yung ID number 001, it corresponds directly to a postol. Kapag naman, hiyarap natin kung sino ba yung merong ID number na 004, sino kaya siya? So, makukuha natin ay si Gomez. Nakukuha? So, lahat yan, it corresponds to the original input. Eh, so, what if ganito yung ano? Kailan ba nag hindi nagiging one-to-one um, -one function? Ito yung example. If si Parayno at si Gonzaga ay may isang ID number, wherein dapat hindi. Okay? Hindi na yan one-to-one -one function. Kasi, meron tayong dalawang um, output na nag-correspond lang ay meron tayong dalawang inputs na nag-correspond lang sa isang output wherein bawal madoble ang outputs or value ng y. Again, bawal madoble ang value ng y. That's why hindi siya one-to-one -one function. Pero pag natin yung formation natin, this is a one-to-one -one function. Okay? Now, 
Ito naman yung usual na makikita nyo sa mga textbooks or sa mga modules nyo. So sabi dito, determine which the of the following is a one-to-one -one function. Uh, in number one, we have a mapping diagram. We're in, ako magalagay na mapping diagram natin ha. Ganito, ganito yung usual na tsura ng one-to-one -one function. As you can see, your input, these are the values of x, you have the domain, 1, 2, 3, 4. These are the values of y or your range, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Wherein, the first value of x, which is 1, it corresponds directly to 3. At wala na siyang ibang correspondence. Kaya siya 1, 1, to 1. Yung value of x natin, which is 2, it corresponds directly to 4. 3, it corresponds to 5. And 4, it corresponds to 6. As for what if nung ganito po? Nag-criss-cross. As for example, uh, ganito yung itura na nakita niya. May nag-cross. Guys, this one is another example of one-to-one -one function. Kasi unique yung, yung input mo, nagkaroon siya ng output na 6. Yung input mo na 4, nagkaroon siya ng output na 5. This one is an example of one-to-one -one function. So, kailan nga po? Let's say, for example, mayroon tayong mapping diagram. Uh, paano nga po kapag uh, bigyan nyo may example na hindi one-to-one? -one? Let's say, for example, ito, ito, buray natong 6. Pero, itong 3 natin, it corresponds to 5. Itong 4 natin, it corresponds to 5 also. Yun, hindi na to one-to-one -one function. Kasi, dalawa na yung value ng y. Or meron ng repetition. Kapag ginawa ko kasi itong ano, um, ordered pair, magiging ganito siya. Magiging 1, 3, tapos 2, 4, and 3, 5, tapos 4, 5. And sabi natin dito kanina, a function where one input gives one unique output. Na kung saan, kung mapansin nyo, Nagkaroon tayong repetition sa y values. That's why, if ganito yung itsura ng inyong mapping diagram, hindi siya one-to-one -one function. Tandaan nyo yun eh. So, let me erase this one and let me go back with the original given. Okay? I hope that sa part na yun, sa mapping diagram, you can easily identify which one is a one-to-one -one function and not. Tayo natin yung sapat. Balikin natin natin given this is 6, ito ay isang 1 to 1 function. Yes sir, what if naman po, the given is a graph. Paano pa natin ma-identify? Okay, ito baka makonfuse kasi kayo dito. Meron tayong tinatawag na vertical line test. Again, we have the vertical line test for the graph. Ginagamit yung vertical line test, pag ito siya, vertical na, ginagamit yung vertical line test, if target natin, ma-determine if the given relation is a function. Again, Vertical line test, if you want to test a given relation, if that is a function. Ngayon, ang gagamitin natin, if we want to test whether a function is a one-to-one -one function, ay gamit tayo ng ating horizontal line test. And to represent the horizontal line na pang test natin, I'll be using this meter stick. And let's have this example. This graph is an example or a graph of a linear function. Wherein, kapag ginamit natin ito, this one is definitely a function, right? Function yan. Pero, ang tanong dito, wait lang, this is a one-to-one. One, two, one. To one function. Pag gumamit tayo ng horizontal line test, katulad dito, yan. Wala tayong repetitions sa y. That's why, ito ay isang one to one function. Okay? Now let's move on with item number three. For item number three, check muna natin if this is a function. Gamit ang vertical line test, since wala tayong repetitions, function siya. At kapag gumamit tayo ng horizontal line test, wala tayong intersection na dalawang beses. Gamit yung ating vertical line. That's why, that way isang 1 to 1 function. Okay? So, yung number 1, 2, and 3 natin are examples of 1 to 1. Yes, sir. Paano po yung number 4? Check natin. Number 
therefore, kapag gumamit ng vertical line test, isa siyang function. Pero, kapag gumamit naman tayo ng horizontal line test, as you can see, compared to this function, kapag nag-vertical, nag-horizontal line test tayo, wala tayong repetition sa y. Okay? Walang dalawang point na nadadaanan yung ating line. Dito, as you can see, kapag pinadaan ko yung ating, vert, yung hor ating horizontal line, meron tayong dalawang points, again, two points na nadada nadadaanan. Kapag nangyari yan sa kahit anong graph, automatically, the graph is not one-to-one. -one. Anyway, dalawang points, ito yung first point, ito yung second point. At kahit tumas pa tayo continuously, meron pa rin tayong dalawang points na madadaanan. That's why, ito ay not one-to-one. Another example guys, para ma maging familiar kayo, baka may ma-encounter kay kayong gantong klaseng graph. Yan. Kapag gumamit kayo ng vertical line, ay horizontal line, meron ulit kayong dalawang points sa madadaanan, ito ay not to one to one. Ayun nga guys, Um, I hope na natuto kayo sa video natin on how to determine whether the given function is a one-to-one -one function. Again, para malaman mo kung is siyang one-to-one -one function, basically guys, ha, kasi kaya nga siya one-to-one -one function, dapat yung given mo ay isang function. Pangalawa, yung iyong input, it can produce a unique output. Or in other words, dapat walang repetition pagdating sa y values. Again, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at i-hit mo na rin bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!